So it's been the most dismal summer in history. Six months of scanning the uh, surf cam, looking for some waves. At least in this one, it was offshore. We experienced so much onshore and absolutely no swell. But finally, there was something that popped up on the radar and it was looking serious. Now, this crazy forecast, you can see Friday, the wind goes, uh, we have a slight west swell and the wind goes into a southeast pattern for the weekend. And uh, there's a lot of rain. And you can see the temperature, we are 18, 19, but look what happens next week. This, uh, this system changes completely from a summer pattern into a winter pattern. We've got a lot of rain on Monday, Tuesday, and then we go into this section here where we've got howling southwesters, uh, gale force winds for three days, and a big swell, 7.7, 7.3, sorry, at 16 seconds with rain. So yeah, the temperature here plummets to 13 degrees, which is going to be the first cold snap of the winter. Looks like good waves Thursday and Friday. And then yeah, back into another onshore uh, period. It's absolutely crazy. This uh, summer just doesn't want to end. We've got full on winter here and then straight back into a summer pattern here. Just the craziest of weather this year. Here you can see the front it goes through and then you can see this empty space at the back with the big high pressure and we go back into onshores absolutely crazy weather yeah so that big swell that was predicted fell apart a little bit took a big jump to the right it's going to be going past we're getting the tail end of it like a south swell very messy you can see it here early morning jay bay there's two swells on it all mixed up double steps not quite what we were hoping for rain has been pouring down it's been really miserable but yeah i guess we've got to count our blessings we've got something today yeah I definitely have a paddle yeah the storm had downgraded and moved to the east but it wasn't all bad news because it was going to turn out a lot better than what we thought yeah the sand situation steadily getting worse you can see where this section over here was was out to there at least there was a top section with sand you can see how it scarred it back so that's your that's your embankment now and it's probably only two three meters from this uh, these uh, gabions yeah you can see how that's the last bit of sand that's sort of left on the beach Check at this fall down now so when this big swell comes it'll chew all this back and deposit it back where it used to be back there and then it's going to be into the bottom of the gabions and you can see up there how steep that vegetation is because the sand's actually fallen away underneath the vegetation so yeah this next big swell here is going to cause some serious serious problems here there's a good one coming down the point i think the bullion is going to get in there are lots of flappers out here Yeah, there were a ton of visitors in town, not all the best surfers, and uh, yeah, as always, I was out there, so I didn't film the best part of the section, so this would have been after the main uh, swell had passed, and uh, yeah, with the tide pushing, and uh, the wind starting to go into the south. Here are a couple of clips of the after session. Enjoy. Yeah, you can see by the footage, it's not the perfect uh, lined up supers that we're uh, used to. Us, us locals are pretty fussy. But yeah, it was a good first session and uh, yeah, the guys are making the most of it.
apprentice on the camera. Sir, out here, man. How's Yo. it going? Nah, it's all good, man. I'm just filming some some nice lines every now and then. That one that runs through nicely, but it's still a bit. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really still, wonky. You eh? can see you can see why Uncle Trev is standing outside because it's not <laughs> the best, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we're hoping for later. I heard it was gonna be like. 10 foot today man <laughs> <laughs> last week's forecast you are not now yeah. <laughs> but even like tomorrow is still gonna still gonna be yeah, there's some swell tomorrow yeah I'm yeah Dylan's one of our big up and coming talents here yes sir yeah I know he's doing super well man it's just really well Mike's taking him under his wing and he's gonna be doing a bit of photography are you filming anybody specific today no I'm just like just, just I'm general just, yeah, I'm just okay yeah just, just getting some clips yeah, getting for the day it's not the best, but yeah, better than zero. Better than zero for sure. Yeah, the bully eventually got a couple before the south wind came through and started to disturb the whole scene. Yeah, the forecast didn't look good yesterday. And uh, yeah, we were super pumped. It was really bumpy. The man woke up this morning, could hear the surf last night. And yeah, it looks, it's picked up huge. And uh, it looks a lot cleaner than yesterday. So we're gonna go down there and have a look. Yeah, there's some super good news. The WSL is back in J Bay. It may not be the main tour, but uh, we've got a speciality event. That's going to be sponsored and co-sanctioned by uh, the WSL. It's a speciality event with some invitees, some of the locals, a whole lot of stuff happening. Um, yeah, it's just been announced. So yeah, I'll put the poster up and you can check it out. So yeah, there's going to be a bit of excitement at J-Bay for this winter. Hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully it's... Uh, going to be held on a spring tide not like the last WSL events here <clears throat> I don't know what they were thinking and uh, hopefully it's going to produce some swell that we're going to go and see now and we're going to have waves like this in the waiting period because man J Bay ain't J Bay if it hasn't got six to eight foot walls cooking down the freaking point so let's go and have a look what it looks like today I think it's still going to have a bit of bump on it because of the south swell there's wind uh, <clears throat> we've had a lot of rain it's been flooding down the coast so there's been a lot of rain on on this uh, front and a lot of rain in the swell but it's looking a lot cleaner today and man stoked you can see the winds coming from the left on the flags here it's at normal uh, northwest uh, flow down the uh, Gamtus valley due to the cold air the the temperatures dropped incredibly this last uh, this last uh, week with all this rain uh, so they've been the first cold snap of winter and yeah man we we uh, happy to feel the chill because with it comes the swell so yeah got some new boards arriving today man they're gonna arrive just after the swell ain't it always the case and uh, yeah I'll unbox those and show you what I've what I've got coming I've got a got a little bit wide on my boards uh, I've got a little fun it's a summer board basically it's similar to the mashup I've got a yeah uh, uh, and then I've gone a little bit wide on my standard boards just to get a a bit more uh, volume oh man it's cooking look at that waves boys light northwest it looks so good a lot of guys are out already morning all the balsawets all the jury how's it looking hey eh? no it looks yeah. good I saw that saw that set go through you look at that the bands in the bay yeah just wait happening. for this northwest to chill down but it's it actually looks good though eh? this northwest not bad straight up the face yeah ah, it looks it, uh, really clean 
didn't expect this after yesterday's bumpy stuff, I must admit, hey, but this is actually coming clean. This is insane. Sure, those are going to have good waves up the coast, the south coast. This, this swell goes all the way up to Mozambique. This is going to be, I oh, know, there are going to be some serious waves up at Ponta and that as well. And look at this. Woo! Oh, this is so much better than yesterday. It's got decent period. Woo! Yeah, the angle's amazing. It's coming from Bonio. We were talking about it yesterday. Oh, man. I've got to get on this. Look at that. First swell of the winter. Proper. This is really, really, really looking good. The angles, they were forecasting a lot more south. This looks like it's got still got southwest in it because it's coming from Boneyards. That uh, looks super good. I want to get on the camera a bit. What do you think of the new event that's coming, bud? Hey, that's going to be pretty interesting. Eh? Yeah, a bit of local flavor. Yeah. Eh? I think something different too. You know? Just yeah. a whole new uh, dimension to A little bit, little bit less um, formal, let's yeah. say. Eh? Well, I think go big, big it's going to be very competitive. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do the same infrastructure and everything. Yeah. Oh man, just look at look at these waves. Yeah, the WSL is involved with it, yeah. Just look at these waves. Oh man. Oh, the biggest hits in this as well. Oh man, unreal. Oh, you got a good one yesterday. I saw you. You got one of the berries, but it, you just couldn't make the bottom section. I checked. No, yeah. It was so difficult. Yeah, that yesterday was like, geez, this is looking so good. Look at this. How often do you see that? Nobody on that wave. Smoking wave. Whew. Looking good. Whew. Yeah, almost an empty J Bay. See how that sand's being pulled back now. The pan up the point, there's a set coming. Whew. Welcome back, J Bay. Yeah, as always, the northwest fills in and picks up after daybreak and uh, blows until about half past eight, nine. So all of the uh, locals will hang back and let the uh, let all the visitors get some waves in before hitting the water on the uh, on the change of the wind. Yeah, so we've got a speciality event uh, lined up, which has got uh, some invitees, uh, Marco Calupo, there's a couple of us, Josh Kerr, a couple of the other guys, I'll, I'll uh, fill you in on that a little bit later. Um, and they involved some of the, the South African uh, up and coming guys, some of the local guys here. And yeah, just something for the crowd to come cheer about. Uh, hopefully we can have some really good waves. Um, hopefully a swell at least as good as this and clean. So as I was saying in the car, I've got uh, two new boards that are from Graham. I've got a, I've got a Speed Demon, which is basically uh, very similar to sort of the mashup. It's a sort of semi-performance, uh, fun fish hybrid. Um, and I can't wait to surf, you know, after surfing this, uh, this little fat fish that I got. So this, I just went and got a second hand one out of the, out of the, uh, the surf shed because, because the surf was so crap. I mean, really, we've had no surf. This is the first real surf that's arrived for the year. I mean, yeah, so man, there was just only one way is to go and get a, a fat fish just to ride the sloppy shit that we had, all this wind swell we've had for the last six months. And yeah, so I've gone for one that's a bit more refined and um, hopefully it'll be a little bit more performance. Not that the bullies are that good at performance surfing, but yeah, we try, that's for sure. And then I've got another Swallow Matrix, which this is my favorite board out of, out of Graham Stable. And I've uh, just got a little bit wider, a little bit longer. Uh, I'm out of 5'11", normally I've gone, gone to 6'1", and just put a bit more volume in it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to test it out here on a really good day. I don't think today is gonna be epic, but um, there's gonna be a glass off period from about nine o'clock, and I think from nine to sort of 11, 12 with the outgoing tide. Hopefully the swell holds. 
yeah, there should be some really good waves. Unfortunately, the boards are only arriving this evening or this afternoon. I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, so I definitely won't get on them on this swell. But yeah, I'll show you the unpacking and, and give you a, uh, a look at the boards. And I'll take it from there. Oh, here comes the big set. We've got a lot of tourists in town at the moment and uh, most of the, the better surfers will only go out later as this northwest drops off because you've got a lot of chatter on the, on, the, uh, on the face coming up the face. That's why we don't surf before sort of nine, half past nine. As the sun comes out and it warms up, it warms that valley air and that subsidence stops and, and basically the wind swings more offshore. Get that valley breeze stops and then the southwest fills in from, from the uh, St. Francis side. So yeah. If you go out now, there's, there's waves to be had, but it's super chattery and, and very difficult to do your turns. And uh, yeah, although it can open the barrel, it's not easy to ride. So yeah, the wise will wait. Hey Dill, how's it going, bud? Hey, it's good Uncle Trev, you know we're out here in the surfing paradise, you know. Waves are nice, still got a little bit of a bump, bump on it. Bump on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going a bit early, I think. But yeah, you got some work to do. Are you you're exactly. running the cameras for Mike now? You know what right? I mean? So this is just a, just a Your good camp. one. Yeah, this is my gap, <laughs> man. I have to make make use of it, you know. Tell me something, are you are you surfing in the... in the... I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I can't you don't know yet, you. eh? Yeah, I don't know Shit, yet. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too, yeah. Okay. I'm sure you'll be in it. How are you enjoying the boards? Yeah, the boards. You know, Going I'm good, really eh? Smart, you know? Yeah, I know. You're looking good on them, man. You're looking good on them. Okay, well, have a good one. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank Cheers. You Yeah, some of the visitors were coming to grips with that northwest wind, not succeeding and paying the price for it. with the event on the horizon, some of the local youngsters were heading out and eager to get some practice in. Yeah, the tide was dropping and it was picking up and it was glassing off. Time for the valley to hit the water.
Yeah, you know, so a good five hour session out there. The wind's gone across onshore now. Still a couple of waves coming through, but uh, yeah, it's gone very wobbly. It's got that south swell now that they predicted. It's a good opener though, at least uh, a couple of waves to start the winter. Let's go and see if those boards have arrived now. Yeah, the boards hadn't arrived, so it was back to the car park for a beer and to join the guys and uh, watch the sunset on an amazing day surfing. After a lekker day out there, beers, beers are flowing, sun setting. All the bullies. Here we got Stu in the birthday boy. Yeah. How was that today, buddy? Yeah, that was actually a holiday. It was a holiday. It was good, eh? It's about time, eh? Okay, I've got some crackers there. Yeah, eh? yeah, but you too, don't worry. Yeah, it, was, it was your birthday, that's why we got waves. <laughs> Definitely got some good birthday presents here. Yeah. We got the burn, yeah? yeah he's, been, sure. he's been hiding, eh? <laughs> Incognito, yeah. yeah well, well, we've been waiting come for the waves from, to pump. Come and, out from uh, under that hoodie, Shana. Come on, come on. I want to check your face. No, eh? I'm <laughs> covering the grey. I'm covering the grey. <laughs> and Al Gordy, he's over there, our, 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 our cameraman. How was that, man? That was a man. How's, how's the Zamalek? Zamalek good. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Are you on the line? Oh, oh, that's line. Old school. <laughs> old school. <time. laughs> Crazy thing. <laughs> These were the cheapest. <laughs> they were the cheapest. Yeah, yeah. The freaking Durban boys. Yeah. <laughs> Long, <laughs> Durban. Bud budget beers. <laughs> 55. Yeah, 55 years young. And this bali over here? 62. And the bali in the middle? Uh, 63. 63. Check the lighties. Yeah. 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 Hey, well, 60 is the new 40. Six, no, 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 for sure, John. We're working at it, eh? <laughs> if, you guys make, if you guys make me feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, John, your chin's oh, coming. Do uh, you like it or not? Yeah, check this awesome evening. Bay Bay in the car park. The moon. And it's still bombing. A little bit doubled up. I don't think tomorrow morning really might be okay. Early morning supers. Morning, morning. Hi. Hey, are you yeah, ready? Hey, Dill, how's it? Good. How's this, eh? Hey, man, it's still some sweat. Beautiful, eh? A bit wobbly. Well Tell me something, what is it about surfing that like makes everybody so happy in this town? Hey, Whoa, man. I don't know. That's a, that's a, hey? I don't know. I mean, how was yesterday evening? Everybody's sitting here chatting, you know. It's a different context here in j -Bay. Like you can't compare surfing here to anywhere else because what we have here is totally different. And, when yeah. this wave comes alive, it's, it's special. You know it, Trevor. It's yeah, a machine. It's, it's, I mean, it's a wave it, pool. It's, you know, it has different settings. You can have barrels, you can have turns, yeah. and it's all for free. Yeah, just the feeling, you know? Yeah, yeah, the feeling. I mean, it's, it's, it's so crazy. I mean, yesterday, like, this whole place just comes alive. It's like, it's been sleeping. Like, we've had no waves for six months, and then we have a day, and, like, just these, just these big smiles on everybody's faces, and I don't know, it's just like a, eh? I don't know. How do you explain it, eh? Yeah. I mean, we got... Only yourself knows the feeling. That's, that's probably why they say Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, had, we have all guys... I mean, how many sports can you still surf at, like, pretty actively at, like, 55, 60? I mean, we've got uh, there three of us standing here, like all over 55, and exactly. still surfing short boards, yeah, you know? Yeah, now, you've got about another 40 years <laughs> to go, eh? Yeah, no, I'm still a, I'm still a young and I'm still a grom, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, listen, but, listen, we're all still groms, that's the problem, eh? Yeah, 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 that's, that's the problem. Yes. But check out this scene, man. Ah, I woke up this morning, I could hear the, the roar of the surf. It's gone a little bit offshore overnight, so, man, there's still some clean ones coming down. It's gonna have to be a dawny this morning. The, the bali never does dawnies. So you're gonna go for a dawn and the This is I'm gonna have to get in the water. I hate getting in the water this time. I gotta take some tablets to get in the water this time in the morning. She's like it's not gonna last long this morning. Yeah, the onshore is imminent, so you had to make it an early one. Now there's something special about surfing man. I don't know what it is. I've been doing it for since I was probably eight years old. And 
it just keeps drawing you back you know <laughs> and uh, yeah I, I just don't know what it is is a uh, it's just an earthy draw and the guys at Bay, all the older guys I mean and just got to keep coming back and uh, it makes you feel young you know I don't know I don't know how you even explain it but oh man in the sun starting to peek its peek its eye over the top of the horizon I just want to put this on I just want to film the sunrise here yeah it's crazy man it's just a different 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 sport and uh, yeah it keeps on bringing us back oh baby i love your madness it's so incredibly beautiful oh you shine like gold so selfless to all and wild like an animal oh. some would say i'm insane in the right in a way but i just love to play in your fun and morning sun yeah can I do a little interview with you I'm too embarrassed <laughs> you're too embarrassed yeah. just check just pretend there's no camera <laughs> where are you from I'll get too embarrassed. No, just talk. Don't even I'm just from, disregard it. I'm from Newcastle, Australia. Newcastle, Australia. Yep. What's yep. your name, by the way? Fiona. Fiona. Fiona, Casey. Fiona. First time in Joe Bay. <laughs> yeah, first time. And how did you find it? It was super fun. Definitely a little bit cold, uh, which I didn't like. But I had super fun waves, and everyone was really friendly. So that was nice. I made lots of friends. That's awesome, man. They reckon it was a 5 out of 10 and it was probably on my scale of waves from what I've had at home like an 8 out of 10 at least and the crowd was maybe 1 tenth. Of what you have back in Oz. <laughs> yeah, so I got lots of waves compared to home. Oh, yeah. Awesome man, that's great man. Yeah, that's brilliant. Where do you guys surf in Newcastle mainly? What breaks you surf? Well, I'm goofy footed so I surf Dixon Park which is a beach break but most people surf Meriwether Point, but it's a right-hander and it gets a crowd. Um, but there's also just lots of beaches all over Newcastle, so I try to find the beachy with the least people on it. 
cool. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, this is this must be like one of the longest point breaks you've surfed in. I reckon that it is. And, yeah. we, and we were only surfing from halfway down basically yesterday because the swell direction was too too straight on. You know, I'm just talking about supers itself. You know, yeah. so we're just going to pan around now. <clears throat> Got a really nice set coming through the northwest, starting to pick up a bit. So it's going to get a bit ripped. But man, that's that's proper. Yeah, yesterday we were taking off pretty much just ahead of the, the car park, which is part where that wave is breaking now because it wasn't coming through from the top. But generally you'd be taking off up at the top there. So yeah, it's, it was definitely half a wave yesterday. But it's pretty good half wave. Phew, to the sun. Yeah, hey, well shot for that. Enjoy this day. Nice. How, lo how long are you here for still? I'm leaving today. You're leaving today? Yeah. Oh, okay, you better get a quick surfing then. Oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. about it there's been three days of, of uh, pretty good waves not uh, not the best that Bay can deliver some fun days and uh, yeah guys have got the wheels turned over and getting ready for the winter I've got the onshore picking up now but yeah super grateful for the for the waves you've had because uh, geez, they've been uh, long overdue it's been a long wait hopefully uh, this is the beginning of the winter and we're gonna see a lot more of south swells with a bit of southwest in them with good offshores and yeah you know with a vent upcoming hopefully that's going to be uh we're going to get some really good swells and we can show all these uh these guys around the world what this place is really like hopefully they've uh, scheduled it on a spring time and uh yeah hopefully Ari and the guys can get this whole thing together and we have enough guys here for this comp and it's interesting enough and yeah there's a bit of a vibe in the town and brings people to the town and we have a good time so mark the dates on your calendar if you're old school put a reminder on your phone remember the dates we're going to have an awesome uh, comp in jay bay come and join us come and check out this beautiful section of the coast with the best right hander in the world come and share the amazing moments with us and just enjoy an amazing day in a beautiful setting thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you on the next swell ciao for now